Well, you joined some pretty special company today with two touchdowns. Joined, you know, Ty and Wayne Gallman just now, Deshaun Watson and Travis Etienne ahead of you. What's it like to have your name mentioned with those guys? Well, what was that? The... Two t- the multiple touchdown games. You now oh. have six in- multiple rushing touchdowns. Okay. You have six in your career. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's the first time I've heard of it. Um, but yeah, just to be in the same uh, conversation as, as any of those dudes um, is, is really, really impressive and uh, just really thankful for it. So I uh, just got to continue to do my thing, help this offense and this team in any way that I can, and uh, hopefully some more records can be uh, matched. Yeah, what's your overall assessment of how the offense played today? I thought we looked great. Uh, came out came out early, really just uh, followed the momentum that we ended with last week, uh, which we are really happy with. Five uh, played a great game today. You know, I was so just thankful to be in the backfield with him. Uh, he's just leading the way so well. Um, really just, you know, taking over, silencing the outside noise. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to see what we are going to do in the future, uh, but was really pleased with today. Speaking of that, what was it like to get those beats from him talking about silencing the outside noise? And there's a message there, not only for himself, but for everybody else. Yeah, it's just the epitome of, of who DJ is. Um, you know, he gets a, a huge deal with, with beats, you know, one of the most widely recognized, you know, brands across the United States, you know, maybe – even you know larger than that, um, but the first thing he thinks about is his teammates, um, and and that's what DJ is all about. So uh, you know, to like I said, to be out there with him, uh, to just you know be acquainted with him, I, I I'm so excited for for what he's going to do for us this season. Sure, you probably get asked about this when you're around campus, but do you think maybe this will kind of quiet some of that? Hey, start Kate over DJ noise that everybody's hearing. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of that noise. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I love both guys. They're, they're both great. Um, but I think DJ went out there and, and yes, he silenced some of those uh, you know, critics out there today. And I think he showed that, that he's the guy right now. Um, and, and I know everybody's going to rally behind him. And you know, we're just going to follow five to the promised land. That's something I've been saying to him since last year. Uh, so we're, we're going to follow him to the promised land. What did you see on the second touchdown run with yeah, you know, I, I really wanted to get in space. Um, you know, Firm did a great job of, of you know, throwing a lot of, of movement in the inside. Um, the backers were just really jumpy, so it's hard with that inside zone. Um, finally, you know, get, get, get a counter call. Great call by Coach Streeter. Um, it's one-on-one with safety, which that's all I can ask for is a running back. It's a one-on-one matchup. You know, if, if you give me that, then I'm, I'm very confident I can make something happen. Um, you know, so just follow Davis Allen. Great, uh, great block out. Um, by, by Marcus and, and just, you know, did the easy part, which is going into the end zone. So, <laughs> just, you guys came in riding the momentum from the last game. What would it take to take the offensive performance up a match to the next level? Yeah, you know, I, I think it takes uh, just making the big plays. You know, we, we definitely left three or four big plays out there today that, you know, either stopped drives or, uh, you know, didn't allow us to really continue that momentum. Um, you know, but if, if we can just make those huge plays that, that you see and carry on drives, uh, get the crowd rolling, um, you know, just get the energy up, I think that that's really the next level for us is, is to not beat ourselves, one, and two, to make the big plays. Can you put a finger on what happened in the second half with just 70 total yards? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, Furman had a, a lot of possession. Uh, you obviously have the, the punt return muff. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that, that went into it. You know, a couple couple big drops. Um, you know, so just not really being Clemson, and and that, you know that's what we've seen. But uh, you know, to to go out there, handle our business. Um, you know, defense couldn't get off the field on third down, uh, which is you know un- unlikely of them. It's it's not something that they usually have problem with. So you know, I've, I've full confidence that that they're going to get in the film room. Uh, Coach Goodwin's going to come up with a great plan for La Tech, and, and you know we won't have a problem with it the rest of the season. But uh, you know, there's a lot of things that went into it. Some some people on offense have to step up, make some big plays, and, and that's what I'm talking about is, is getting that momentum. Someone's got to step up and say, all right, I'm going to change the narrative right now and make sure that you know we're not only going to get 70 yards in the second half. There will be a lot of people complaining this week, but you probably don't know this. Marshall went on the road, beat Notre Dame in South Bend. Mm-hmm. Appalachian State went on the road and beat Texas A&M in College Station. How hard is it this day and especially early in the season, all the craziness, to just be happy with a win? Yeah, it's 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 really hard. Um, I think for us, 
we totally changed our perspective after last year because we had so many close games. Uh, we lost more than we would have liked to, um, but we had so many close games where we you know, barely came out with a victory. And just changing that perspective and, and realizing that it's college football. You know, no, no Saturday is a given Saturday. Uh, you're going to have to play every single opponent um, with the, the same amount of respect and go out there and, uh, and, and do your job or, or you can be beaten. How much were you guys thinking about how well you're playing? Uh, every, every single time I ran it on the field, um, you know, we, we had something planned for today. Uh, you know, we wasn't able to attend, do some, some complications, but, um, you know, we, we prayed for the Bre prayed for the Breezy family, prayed for Brian, Ella, um, like countless times today. And, and uh, you know, all of our thoughts and prayers go out to her. We just want to see a smile on her face and for, you know, her hopes to be high. Um, so we love you, Ella. Um, we hope that everything's going well. And, uh, and I hope you From your perspective, how much more confidence is D1 